Just Three Friends is the 11th episode of the second season of Cheers, directed by James Burroughs, and for the most part, it's a really good episode, but I feel like the ending was really underwhelming, and I will, with a spoiler warning, discuss why I think that, but for the most part, this will be... Well, actually, no. I think I'll, I'll give some spoiler details, so I'll just say spoilers from this point on and this focuses on Diane's friend Heather Landon played by Marky Post and what's quite interesting is that Heather's actually in pretty much all of this usually when a character is introduced in Cheers um, and they're just you know in it for one episode or whatever they're not really spending that much time in the episode for example when we met Diane's mother um, she was in it a little bit but still not that much but actually she's very much at the core of this and Diane's really excited for her her oldest friend to be getting to know Sam, spending time together, and becoming three friends. But Sam is concerned that Heather is coming on to him, and I think his concerns are valid. Her behaviour is very, very flirtatious. And Sam voices these concerns to Diane, who brushes it off. But then Carla, interestingly, um, kind of puts those thoughts into Diane's head, and... Diane begins to see what Sam was seeing, and it's really unclear what exactly is going on. I guess, since I've given a spoiler warning, I can discuss ultimately what happens with this. And I thought, the scene at the dinner table, um, I don't remember, I've seen this episode before, but I don't remember exactly how I felt or what I thought when I first saw it, but certainly watching it again just now, I really felt like Heather was coming on to Sam, and I always thought something was going to happen that would give that away, that would be just too much to hide the truth. But it never happened, and it just felt so underwhelming. It kind of felt like the narrative was unfinished. Like, I was left wanting more, like there was something that was still unsaid. Maybe the intention was for us, as the viewers, to make up our own mind. Was Heather coming on to Sam? Or was she just being overly friendly? And... Honestly, I feel like I don't want to be left to make my own decision. Because if I had to, I'd feel like she was coming on to him. But as much as I don't want Diane to get hurt, I was looking for something more conclusive. I was looking for something where they could honestly say, Heather is clearly coming on to Sam, there are no other ways of looking at it, and Heather admits it. And I feel like the narrative just felt unfinished. And I'm a little bit disappointed by it. I wouldn't say I didn't like the episode because I liked pretty much all of it. It was just once we got to the end, I felt really underwhelmed. And uh, that, was, that was a bit of a shame. So I can't say I didn't enjoy it. But it's unusual for a Cheers episode to leave me feeling like it's unfinished, like it's not reached a, a satisfying conclusion. And unfortunately, that's just the case with this one. The whole thing with the dog in the office, I thought, was... An interesting choice. Uh, it, it it did give us some comedy, um, but I feel like also that part was just underdeveloped as well. It felt like it could have been so much more. It was there enough that we had to pay attention to it, but it was there. It wasn't there enough that it became important. So I feel like that just felt underdeveloped as well and underwritten. And I feel like that needed a little bit more humor for it to be memorable and interesting. It's like they just scratched the surface with it, enough that it was saying, hey, this is important, you need to pay attention to it, but not enough that I felt it was very entertaining. So in all, it's just not a very well-written episode. There are bits here and there that I liked, such as when Carla said, your brain, to Cliff, in response to something he was saying about, I think, cracks and fissures, and it was just the comedic timing. I mean... It doesn't surprise me because Ria Perlman has just amazing comedic timing and I thought that was well written. So there were things here and there that I quite liked. Coach and his whole <laughs> his whole nickname thing uh, I thought worked very well as well. So I can't say it was terrible, but compared to the average Cheers episode, you know, the average episode is very well written, very well crafted. It It's the right balance of comedy and sometimes, you know, emotion or concern or more, you know, more thought-provoking feelings. And we get a little bit of that here. But unfortunately, it just, it isn't that great. And I feel okay saying that because I'm aware that I am sickeningly sweet about Cheers a lot of the time. A lot of the time with episodes, I have nothing but praise and, you know, gushing adoration 
So it's quite nice that every now and then I can prove to myself that I can think critically about the show and say, actually, on this occasion, it just didn't quite hit the mark. I wouldn't skip it. It's not an episode that I would skip. I don't mind it. But compared to the usual amazingly high quality of Cheers, Just Three Friends just didn't quite reach it. 